Oh my god, Bella, hi. I think you came in just in time, Bella, because I could definitely use some fish bait. Otherwise, I'd need to craft, because I'm going to be going fishing tonight. Also, tonight, if we can roll a good villager to move out, that'll give me Friday night and potentially the entire weekend to go hunting. Good evening, everyone. Right now in Mirage, it's 7.20 p.m. I almost forgot. Right now, at this very moment, the sky above Mirage is full of shooting stars. Andrea, thanks for liking. Also, you guys, I may have to open my gates, because... Uh, the sky is having a party, as you can see. <laughs> Maybe fishing can be put on hold for a little bit. It's one of the loveliest sights I've ever beheld, so move R to gaze at the magic overhead. You know, there's a legend that if you make a wish on a shooting star with A, it'll definitely come true. I don't know how accurate that legend is, but it's probably worth a try. So make a wish, if you wish. With that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. You'd think you'd be able to see the shooting stars through the window? That would be a nice touch. Oh, you're opening your gate for me. Hey, okay. Oh, I already hear them, but I can't do anything because I'm... Because, hey, I need to get a call for them to tell me they deposited ba bells in my bank instead of sending me a letter. Oh, and we have, uh... Gulliver. Come on. Really? Jerks. You have no gold? Do you need to fix that, Andrea? Well, it's gonna be one of those nights, huh? You're just teasing me all night. That's how it's gonna be. Alright. Midwinter so oh yeah, that's right, I did over that. Oh, Button, the fossil you gave me, what a gift! It contains the secrets of the ancient world. I get chills just thinking about it. I'll cherish it always. Thank you. Please, accept this gift in return. Still in awe, Diana. Fleet? Wait, what? Oh. I thought it would refer to boa as like the snake, like the pink fluffy thing. That kind of boa. The fashion boa. Uh, okay, let's talk to Gulliver. Man, these shooting stars are gonna troll me tonight, I just know it. Fast storms are coming! Brace yourselves, lads! Hard to starboard, tough to port! Stern to stern! Waiter, somebody put salt in this water! 
Mm, you don't want to be Jetson. Can I be Jetson? It just sounds more rugged. <laughs> what? Verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. Who? What? Where? And I'll throw in when and why at no extra charge. You there, what's with the rude awakening, huh? Don't you know who you're dealing with? Oh, it's you, Jeremy. That's different, then. I'm slightly less annoyed. What was that Verity stuff about? I'm not sure. I think I heard a fish say it once. Anyway, I guess I must have fallen overboard and washed up on this beach. It happens. Don't worry about me. Getting rescued is gonna be a breeze. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh... And my, uh... Oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken! This isn't handy or dandy. The sardines, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. Ah, uh, that means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. And that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my communicator parts? Please? Really? Wow, I haven't gotten a reception this sweet and bubbly since I washed up at old Coral Cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the search into you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. Onwards. Squirt at me. Hi, woo woo, thanks for liking. Can I move an inch without a shooting star? You think? That's five so far. Well, hey there, Johnny. Uh, I've almost lost count. Is it seven or eight? Nine? Actually, that could be eight. Thanks for liking, Johnny. Nine? He's Renee again? Okay, I guess she's moving out. I did, I did, I, this was my promise. It's 11, 12. All right, Renee, you asked for it. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, I've been kind of thinking. Maybe it's time I moved on, Rue. Mirage rocks, but I think I just want a new adventure, you know? God, I love your eyes. I'm gonna say that, Renee. Is that creepy? Go! Spread those wings! Yeah, it's been a blast living on Mirage. No regrets. Rockin' memories, Rue. And I loved hanging out with you. Keep the others in line, alright? I'm a man of my word, Renee. You, you wanted to move out twice in a row, and your wish was granted. I'm the second wish, I guess. You had two chances. Wanted to make sure that you were sure. God. I think that's 12? Maybe?
I know this looks like a golden shovel, but it's not. Oh, but what I would give to have that DIY. You're in a good mood. Drop down trees, customize items, catch fish, which I definitely need to do. And there's a... damn it. Catch a damselfly. Really, dude? No, 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 stop fat fingering buttons, idiot. <laughs> it's such a it's such a chore to like be able to get yourself in the right position to wish on a star. <laughs> you gotta unequip all your tools, you gotta press the R button, spam it until the game decides it's ready to move the camera. It's silly. Today you celebrate your friend Stacy Stacy Animal Crossing. Uh, like her birthday, or just you're celebrating that you have a friend? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Just Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm at 20. I don't know. There's a lot of shooting stars here, you guys. Today's your friend's birthday. Well, happy birthday, Stacy. Hey, he's right there. Roger. If you wish on shooting stars on someone else's island, do you get them on yours? Yes. Cost eight. <laughs> That's how much it costs. It's a zero, by the way. Eight tickets, please. Thank you. Step right up. It only costs eight. See the glorious and unique Mirage Shooting Stars event. Tonight only, for three hours, witness the most glorious, dazzling light show you've ever seen. But only tonight! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> C0ST8. Sorry, Bella, I know I'm kind of... I'm... 
I'm turning the tables here and forcing you to come to my island. But I promise you, there are shooting stars here. So there's a benefit to it. Also, you can come here, Blue Bear Sing. You think anyone's on Mukazan wants to buy Renee? Cafe KK, do I have that? I don't think so. Uh, nope. Ugh. What does that say? Kiki Cafe? It says Kiki. That's not his name. Or is it, is it supposed to be KK Cafe? So where the E's are fancy and it makes it sound like K's. <laughs> That's probably it. Anyway. Bye guys. Gates open. Cost 8, where the O is a 0. Is the code. C0, ST8. You gave her Raymond. Oh good, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad she went to some- or Raymond went to someone who really wanted him. And was willing to take him off your hands because I know that I know that you had offered him to me. And I know you wanted to be rid of him, so I'm glad he's a he's in good hands. Overnight crybaby. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever visited my island, Bella. Thanks, Chewie. And also, welcome back. From the dumb. She surprised me on your birthday. It was your turn to return the favor. Thank you, Bella. I was thinking about changing my island tune as well. I think I have something good in mind. Yeah, just feel free to just drop them. I appreciate all these fish bait. I really do. You're doing me a big favor. Thank you, Bella. Feel free to, to stick around if you want. I need to, uh... 
Now you're probably typing, but I need to go catch fish at the top, the cliff top. There goes, there it goes, there they go, there they go. I think the limit is 20, I'm not sure. I also have to do like island cleanup. I think the limit is 20, so just get 20. They should, you should have no problem getting that many, considering how many they're shooting. The Star Cannon is firing like crazy tonight. They got a surplus ammo. Boosh, boosh. That's what I imagine it sounding like. Oh, uh, do you want anything, Bella? Is there anything I can give you? I don't... What can I give you? Check out my toy day shop. Probably a good idea. Nook's cranny. Got a ton of DIYs, I've got AK songs, I have fashion items, I have bells, lots of bells. I have bell trees if you want them. I don't know, I... Are you really at a point in the game where you think you have everything? Well, thanks, Bella. You've always been a big help. When I get when I get to the point where I can offer you something, or even if I can arrange, what the heck? What just happened? Why did he spin his shovel like that? Did you guys, did you guys see that? That was weird. Anyway, if I get to the point... Or if you think... I can offer you or arrange something for you, it will just tell me what your need is and I can try to make it happen. <laughs> red, is, red is where I draw the line. And that's a me thing, that's not a, like a general everyone thing. I, I just look at it as like, spoilery. But I'm like, I'm not angry or anything. There's plenty of art pieces to look at. You got 20. Okay, Bella. And... Just probably like waiting to, to fly. <laughs> oh, 
That was quick, by the way. <laughs> that was a really quick 20 stars, I gotta say. Tonight's a good night. Good night for stars. Thanks for visiting, Bella. Come back soon. <laughs> it kept coming, yeah. I could see that. Just spam A. Eh? Oh, is that an Emperor Butterfly? I think I need one more. Not your average mono. Catch bugs a thing? Oh yeah it is, okay. Catch fish. Sell a hot item. Catch some bugs. Where's that damselfly? Come here. So, thinking back to when you were trying to place position rocks on your island to be in a rock circle. Thinking back to when you mistakenly broke one. Were you able to fix that by closing without saving? Hey Celeste. Good evening, Jim. You've been flying in the sky. So many shooting stars tonight. Would you care to watch nature's most beautiful performance with me? Booty too. I almost forgot. I came across a recipe for an astronomical project in a book and jotted it down. I would like you to have it. Do let me know if you tried building it, would you? I'll have a splendid rest of the night. I know I shall. Thanks, Celeste. Satellite. Nice. Crisis averted. You walking into me for? Have some shooting stars, Celeste. <laughs> yeah, like a yeah, I think you mentioned that, right? Like a two minute window or something? Which is quite a long time when you realize you've made a mistake.
Okay, guys, so uh, Renee's moving out. Which means island hunting is going to begin this Friday. And it, w it will almost definitely last into the weekend. Given the way the last hunt went. Fossils. Hi, Stitches. It's a super comfy stuffing. Is there anyone except for Raymond I would consider? There are plenty. Let's assume I have I had Raymond. Let's assume for a second that yes, I already have Raymond, but I still want to go hunting. Then my picks, my picks would be. Uh, let me go to the list here. Uh, for Cranky Tom, for Sisterly, Mira, actually Mira would be my my second, my second after Raymond or Judy. But then, then Tom. Or Apollo. Uh, Alice, the koala. Snake for a sporty. There, there are a few. And, oh yeah, uh, Francine, but that would be another snooty villager. So that'd be tough. Anyway, I had to exit the game in order to think about that. There you go. I'm gonna go get my fossils assessed, and I'm gonna go grab, okay, these damn supplies. I met Snake once, in island touring, and I was very tempted to take him, because he seems, he seems really cool. And I don't have a bunny villager. Then again, Mira would be my sisterly pick, so that would be a bunny villager right there. What this? Dollhouse? Table setting. Oh, cool. Sure, why not? That would fit the the elegant theme of my household. Where are the hot items? I didn't check.
Hey, Anka has a lollipop. Hi, Anka. Hi, good evening, Minyao. What a peaceful evening this is. Only this lovely day could go on and on, Minyao. I agree. Hey, Marshall. Top of the evening to you. Hey, I was just thinking about you. And now you're here. Call me Marshall the Summoner. <laughs> Lopez never says clever stuff like that. Oh, please. There's a blizzard on your- oh, really? You have a blizzard? I haven't gotten a single snowflake yet. I wonder if it takes into account where you live. It determines whether you should have snow or not. Because in that case, I wouldn't be seeing snow. Then again, well, I was gonna say, like, there's not really fall here. <laughs> I'll communicate your part. Aha! I'll communicate your part. You're on December 10th. Really? Why are you on December 10th? You fast forwarded to to do some to get an advance on availability of winter DIYs and stuff. Julia, why are you singing? Guess we're done here. Oh, let me go on. Drop. Come back in a second because my inventory is full. I have other stuff to do. Okay, fine. Didn't need you anyway. Try to get those last two communicator parts and knock out Gulliver's tasks for today. That is here a squirt. Squirt again. 
Ah! Knew it. I knew it. the fossil. You know, I haven't seen mushrooms lately. Do, do mushrooms only go grow in November? <laughs> Anka looks so adorable. <gasps> oh, come on, really? Oh, the end of December 1st? Ah, okay. Then I should start seeing, what, uh... Snowflakes now? Is that the fifth one? I think that's the fifth one, right? Go see our friend Delavar. Hey, did you find him? I'm right here. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator part. Come here, you little troublemakers. Alright, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Oh, hey there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Send me my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Yeah, I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. So that that is... Uh... Number what? I think it's on the right side. I gotta make ten I gotta make ten million bells. Stalk market. Thirteen.
Time to send some to our friends, Julia and Diana. Send fossils, that is. Wrong thing. Are you for real? You, you can't keep the gate open while- okay. Unbelievable. Guess we're closing the gate. Hey, you're fired, Orville. You're fired. Get off my island. <laughs> Replace you by it with a computer. Did you... Julia. Please number one. Most people get snow around December 5th. Alright, cool. Then I should probably expect snow around then, I guess. Is it true that... Well, the leaves don't really seem to fall off the trees. They just kind of stay on the trees. Like, anyone who lives in... in a place that gets snow knows that... Leaves fall off trees and fall <laughs> in autumn. And so when winter rolls around, when it when it starts to snow, usually consistently, <coughs> trees are just bare with no leaves, only branches. <laughs> Festive and frozen DIYs were hardest to get. Is that true? What makes them hard to get? And I guess I'll find out. Stone stool and gong. 
Build perfect snow people for frozen balloons for festive, but the balloons with festive GOIs don't seem to come around often at all. Oh, okay. Three stone? Wow, that's cheap as crap. And the gong is probably... yeah. Six iron nugget. Oh my god, that's like... A, it's night and day. Just need some stone. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Is hitting rocks one of my things? It's not. We need to customize though, let's customize. Dear mysterious stranger, I was walking around yesterday picking up DIY stuff, and I came up with a great recipe. I thought it smelled good, so I want to share that smell with you. I hope you make it too. The DIY Benjamin. Who DIH? Really? Golden Dung Beetle, huh? You're sending me? Clay. Alright. Dolby is refusing. I yeah, I would not know. I wish you could make like fishing like tools that look like these, like star nets and fish. Like why can't I have flare stuff? Why can't I only color when I customize?
Oh, sorry to hear that, Bella. Might have been your internet. Welcome back, though. Good to have you once again. Oh, Facebook app glitched? Yeah, maybe. Silly Facebook apps. Okay. Then go fishing. Catch a string. Was it a string fish? Oh, that's gonna be super helpful. Thanks so much, Bella. Save me a ton of time. I feel like it's quicker to dig up manila clams than it is to make fish bait out of them. Yes, black bass. As usual.
Man, these shooting stars are going crazy, dude. Yeah. I'm debating whether I want to take them. Because once I pick them up, it will it will trigger the unlock thing. The Nook Miles achievement. problem is if I look back and look back at my achievements because they have their date stamped and I see oh I unlocked the golden fish fishing rod on this date not gonna be accurate I won't have that time capsule Unless there's another way to know, like, if this is when I actually got the DIY. I don't know. Just a dumb thing I think about. I mean, I've already kind of screwed it up. By taking... What was it? A golden... Golden shovel from someone? Do I just go all in, screw it up, or do I try to salvage it? I think I want to try to salvage it.
You screenshot your game when you get achievements like that. Yellow perches. Yeah, I think I can do that when I get the or the uh, golden shovel. Look at all these black bass that keep coming up. Bye. Maybe I should try to get a Nook Miles test to catch a black bass and they'll stop spawning. What's this? Is this the stringfish? Oh my gosh! Why is he so excited? I got a stringfish! Five more and I'll have a guitar fish! Are they that rare? Okay, well I caught one. That's one, I need three more. So now I know it's a huge fish. And it has a lot more uh, vibration to it than uh, black bass.
Calls that a space. Ooh, ooh, who are you? You're pretty big, aren't you? No, it's a black pass. I think that is also a black bass. Yep. Convenient. Hey Heather, thanks for liking. And welcome back. Oh, miss you too, Heather. Miss you too. Uh, best of luck on the exam. May you absorb and retain all of the information that you're reading tonight and then some. others have to say about this string fish. Chemistry, everyone's favorite. Very good, Heather. Well, don't don't rush to hang out, but you know when you get some time, feel free. Especially if you feel like relaxing. Especially if you feel like you're having trouble falling asleep. This is the stream for you. <laughs> good to know you got you're gonna have some free time coming up soon. Hope to see you. Right. Leathers, tell me more. The string fish grows slowly, but also lives quite a long time for a fish, with up to 15 years being typical. Consequently, while it takes a while, they can get quite large, perhaps even up to 6 feet long. The string fish is perhaps the best embodiment in the fish world of Slow and steady wins the race. And there you have it.
Oh, let me get to the... Able Sister shop before it closes. Hi, Sable. Sable tells me you've been helping her out, modeling outfits and such. It means a lot to all of us that you do so much for our little family. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Detective's coat and cavalier shirt. Two things that I need. Festive tree dress? Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, look, winter clothes. How about that? Long denim cardigan. Oh, God, no. That's a no. Layered socks makes me cold just thinking about it. Oh, you know what I didn't? I never got from earlier this year. Back in July, it was a fireworks celebration. It may have been, may have been August actually. There were four weekends where you could get bopper helmets, headpieces, not helmets, from Isabel. And I only ever got two of them. I think there were four. So I'm missing two. I don't know if anyone can... Well, I'm sure you're the only one in the chat, but if anyone can... Help me with the missing two, that would be great. I have Bold Bopper and Star Bopper. I think there are two others that I'm missing.
Oh, you don't have them? That's unfortunate. Well, I can send you two that I have if you want. Totally forgot about those. Oh, you're in a, you're in a burnout? <laughs> really? That was a quick burnout. Didn't you have the game since March? April, so it would have been like a couple months. I guess you could burn out there during that time, sure.
Not that I'm gonna wear these, but at least I'm unlocking them. They're festive. They're no festive guy clothes, I guess. Okay, let's go try to catch some more, three more string fish. Hi, Celeste. That's a big one. Could it be? Might be. Nope, it's a pike. Dang it. Forgot those are still in the in the river. Hey Jasmine, thanks for liking. Welcome back.
Man, these things are hard to catch. doing dishes okay cool did mine already so one less thing to do tonight do I hear a present Do. Rotary phone. Wow, it's Christmas. I got a rotary phone. Oh boy, gee golly, gumdrop. I'm gonna dial my Aunt Sally.
My god, stop it. Fish can't decide what direction it wants to face. Man, these shooting stars are just, they're going crazy. So many. Renee's still singing. Hey, Audie. Hi, Jeremy. Today's totally a great day. Sunny days are my absolute fave. On a sunny day, it feels like anything is possible. Well, uh, it's not really sunny right now. We can pretend. Four. Five. Six. 
six, seven. Balloons. Uh, didn't I just see you over there, Rune? Really? You don't have a twin, do you? It's the latest. I'm gonna be sad to leave Mirage behind, but I love adventures. I still gotta stare at a map and figure out where I'm going, but I think this is gonna be good for me. Hope so. I do hope so. Did I already talk to Julia? How do you do, Button? I was just thinking how lovely it would be to see you, Mimi Meow. Why are you saying that? How are you faring, Mimi Meow? I do hope Mirage life is everything you hoped for. I need you to go back to saying darling like you're used to.
Oh, Diana. How do you do, button? I was just thinking how lovely it would be to see you, Nodoi. Isn't this weather gorgeous, Nodoi? It makes Mirage look as if it could be the background for a fashion shoot. Probably just make more than one. I think I have a DIY task too. Let's 
shooting stars are giving me anxiety. You wishing on shooting stars? There's none. I like how the the second I go to look up at the sky, that's when they they slow to a crawl. Watch when I start fishing, that's where they're gonna they're gonna go crazy. It's gonna drive me crazy. I might go and try to catch the sea fish, the new ones. Looks like the pike is the only one leaving after this month. I still have some time. Feels kind of big. What is it? Ah, uh, sea bass, of course. It's always the bass.
Hey Phoenix, welcome back. Oh, what do we have here? Sea butterfly, maybe? Actually, I don't think that's it. Sea butterflies has to be tiny. Just like the size of a seahorse, I think. Your present. See a present. My day's been pretty good. Real complaints? How about you? Figure skating costume. <laughs> That's funny. It comes with the pants too, I guess. Man, that'd be great if you have like an ice rink, right? School makes you furious. Uh oh. What happened now? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Yes, I caught a sea butterfly. Try not to confuse it for a sea moth. It's a weird looking fish. Most likely will fail. Why, because you didn't study? Or you just don't understand the content? How will it affect your grade? Your overall grade. That's important too. I guess since there's no shortage of sea fish, I don't need to take the fish bait with me.
Just bring the GPA lower. Is is it a core? Like a core component of your major? Or is it just an elective? Part of the major, uh oh. Well. I know everyone cares about their GPA in college, but at least for me. My experience. The GPA was never really looked at by employers. I guess it depends on like what you're looking for, but really it's like when you're looking for a job, yeah, I guess it kind of matters when it, if it's your first job. But after that, what matters is experience. Like, talking about the real world here. Experience, and obviously the, the major can be a... Or your uh, degree can be a requirement, yes. But I don't... And I, again, this is me speaking from my own experience. No one ever looked at my GPA. Even though it wasn't that great. And that's not, that's not to say, like, no one will ever do it, and that you should tank your GPA, but... <laughs> you know, the whole reason we get, we get a college degree is so that we can... Well, actually, it might affect you if you're going into graduate school. I forgot that part. And it might matter. Really a barrel eye? Are you kidding me? A super rare fish. I think you can wait on graduate school. Yeah. I I I can't say for sure that they won't look at your GPA, but I. I'm not, like I have my doubts that <laughs> graduate school will require it, and I, I'm pretty certain if, if any employer looks at your GPA, yeah, it'll be for your first job, if that. I'm well past my college years. Jobs that I held that required the degree I had. Never asked for GPA. They they always wanted they I think maybe one of them, one or two of them requested a transcript. 
And my GPA was not good. I think, you know, I was still hired. They weren't overly technical jobs, you know, entry level jobs never are. And then let's say you fail, what is it, ec economics? You have to retake it. You probably don't want to fail it. Oh, it's a squid! Do they not actually bloop? Wait, are you saying I've already caught a squid? Are we... are we... Doing a 360 here? Wow. Oh, it's active for most of the year. Okay. I already have a squid. I just need an ore fish. I can find one. It's a huge fish. In the sea. I did my share of slacking off in college, and I regret it. But I regret it. The reason I regret it is because I didn't I didn't learn as much as I could have. So some of that knowledge that was given to me in course content. It's kind of just left my head. Partly, I mean, some of it obviously has gone because I'm not in practice. But there's also some of it that has gone because... I didn't really take the time to try to understand it that much. Uh, that makes it that makes that knowledge much easier to just evaporate. But I also chose a major that uh, doesn't align with my current career. <laughs> it's almost useless. Ah, uh, that's another thing to think about if you're going to college. Not that you shouldn't, but if you're going to, you gotta make sure like the, you're confident on what what you want to go for, and that and you're confident that you'll be able to find work in that field. I know everyone says you can be whatever you want to be, go to school for what you're passionate about. The real world has its own market. And it doesn't cater to people's passions. This is the, this is advice that I would give my own kids if, <laughs> if I ever have any. When you guys go off to college, when you graduate high school, you better be 100% certain that you're going to stick it through all the way, and that it's going to be work in that field that you choose. I'll 
else you want to spend a good portion of your life just looking for work. Poor fish. Come on. Oh, I think that's it. Oh my god! <laughs> Things huge. <laughs> yes, I caught an more fish. I hope I catch more fish. Okay, we got all the sea creatures for December. Can I, uh, what did I, what did I major in? Biology. And I work in IT. And that's, that's why I really think I should have gone to school for IT. I just could not find reliable work in the science field. And I had student loans to pay, so what, what was available? This is, what, this is why I go back to my argument of choose something you can find work in. Because the work that was readily available and the work that could pay my student loans back and give me an income was technical support. Or I guess you could say customer service is kind of what it's kind of what it started out as, but tech support, basic tech support, and then. Yeah, I, I'm right now. I'm a system administrator for a company with uh, 15,000 employees, servicing hundreds of clients, and I have to manage uh, the entire phone system and infrastructure. I'm responsible for operations and understanding uh, the the technology that goes into. How how a call traverses uh, different parts of the network, starting with our company's network and then carrier. Yeah, just like internet traffic. At least now it is with VoIP. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that's my long-winded way of saying my major does not what. I, I do my work in. Yours is your second backup plan. What's your first plan? Plan A. College should be first plan. I guess you would have a four-year degree. That's what I have. I spent like... I went to school initially thinking I was going to go into medicine. And I mean, I probably could have made it if I really tried, but I did some hard thinking like my third year in, or two and a half years in. Thinking about like, <laughs> when would life actually start with me, start for me, and then would I even have a life if I got had gone into medicine? And it scared me out of it. So I, I didn't change my major. I just didn't just didn't go into medicine. Graduated with a four-year degree that I, not not applicable or the only uh, the only way it's relevant is that my the job that I work now requires a four-year degree or relevant experience, I suppose. <laughs> Foreign ambassador? Ooh. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Big adult. <laughs> I only got to where I am from soul searching. I have one, two, three, 
Three fish left to catch before I fill it out. And then I can really get a golden fishing rod. I wonder what's left. I'm probably gonna have to wait another month, aren't I? The spring fish are what I'm missing. And then three deep sea creatures, which actually. Did I catch all of them? For this month? The lobster. No, I haven't. So really, after I catch the lobster, which I think is going to be right here, it'll be it'll be down to two. And as far as bugs go, dung beetle is really the only one. That means I'll have, once I catch the dung beetle, I'll have four more, it looks like. They're probably spring bugs. You know, bugs emerge in the spring and annoy us all. Med school sounds scary? Yeah, it sure did. It was super intimidating. It's almost like they wanted to scare you out of it. Even interviewing for med school, <laughs> taking the uh, MCAT, and then having to be interviewed by a board of like medical professionals on your knowledge of medicine. Oh, like, and then there's residency, and oh my gosh, no, <laughs> it's scary. You have to, you basically have to like. I feel like the only way to really. Be confident in yourself with something like that, with going into medicine, is to not know that much about it. And just try to try to be as knowledgeable as you can, so that you aren't scared off. What do I know? Yeah, believe it or not, Bella, brain surgeon, was what I was interested in. Neurosurgery. Had I gone through with med school, it probably would have been for that. But that was a pipe dream. I don't think I ever really wanted it. I just remember mentioning it to my family. Like, I think I want to be a brain surgeon, like as a kid. You have your pictures framed in your room of your brain. If you're looking to be a foreign ambassador, I don't know what the market's like for something like that. But I don't think they would be checking GPAs for for your foreign ambassador application. If you work for the government, I'm pretty sure no government job will ever check your GPA. They just look for your qualifications. I was almost hired to work for the uh, USDA as a meat inspector at a, <laughs> a processing plant, which I'm very glad I... I'm very glad I chose to decline that. They were ready to offer it to me, and I was so desperate to find work in my field <laughs> that I almost took it. I have a friend who went to law school. He 
He graduated. Um, I think he would need to pass his bar in whatever state he decides to work in. But at the moment, he's, I guess, he's going to be working for the counter, for like the counterintelligence agency of the government. Defense counterintelligence, some of that. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing because he hasn't really been forthcoming with me, but he asked me to be a reference for him. So I was like... <laughs> it was a lot more informal than I, than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Talking to... <laughs> it's almost comical, actually, talking to someone from the counterintelligence agency. Because <laughs> like, they, they did the interview on their cell phone. <laughs> and like, when I got... I remember calling their voicemail, calling them once to try to leave a message. Hey Tammy, thanks for liking. I remember calling them to leave a message. Or to try to talk to them because we were playing phone tag. Like their voicemail has them has like has them announcing themselves like blah 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 of the foreign intelligence agency specialist or whatever. <laughs> it sounded like it was just from a movie. Was... <laughs> you think they'd be a lot more secretive than that? That's like they advertise it. I'm so proud of my position in the Defense Counterintelligence Agency. Oh, there it goes. Grab another one. What am I doing? You know, law school sounds kind of scary too, based on how I've seen it portrayed on TV. It always looks so stuffy and competitive and... Like, intimidating. Can you prank? I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> I could, but I wouldn't, like... They're an intelligence agency. <laughs> you could probably pretty easily trace your call and they wouldn't really have to get too much... They wouldn't receive too much pushback from... Phone carriers to track you down. That's assuming they wanted to investigate. Like... But I guess if someone got a hold of their phone number, sure. I wouldn't because I have a like sort of business relationship and that I needed to serve as a a reference for a friend, so I'd only be hurting him. But yeah, I guess you could prank call them. The announcement. You just gotta know the number. Prank call anyone, really. You know, Jeff Bezos' cell phone number, you could prank call him. Is it a good idea? Eh, probably not.
Ah. You're just gonna live in the moment. Do the best you can. If you're talking about your exam, do the best you can. There's no reason to not try, like... You're paying good money to go to college. You're paying to learn. You're paying to get an edge, basically, in... the career that you choose. But not the... well... career that you're... Majors relevant to. So, you know, might as well get your money's worth. It's not like high school where the teacher's gonna force you to learn and reprimand you for not doing your work or whatever. They don't care if you pass or fail, they're just paid to teach content. It's in your best interest to do the best you can. And, you know, if you. You get a D, you know, it is what it is. At least you can say you tried. No one's perfect. And like I said, GPA doesn't matter too much. I'm tempted to say it doesn't matter at all, but... I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Please... Ugh. Ooh. Looked like it was destined for the water. Anytime.
the poopy chickens moving. <laughs> cool. Oh, I have a move out today too. I don't know if you noticed. You were here for that. Uh, Renee. Renee, my alt horse villager. And I. I gave her a chance yesterday because it picked. It chose her yesterday to move out. I was thinking about moving out. I didn't talk to her, and I was, I was like, all right, I like you, Renee. It's either going to be you or Sparrow. Since I like you more than Sparrow, I'll give you one more chance. That was yesterday. If you ask to move out again, then it's confirmed. So what happened today? She asked to move out again. She had the thought bubble. The game selected her. The roll of dice, she was picked twice in a row. That means, yeah, I, I encouraged her move out. So she'll be in boxes tomorrow and I have to put up a listing now that I think about it on Nookazong. See if I can maybe get some Nook Miles tickets for her. How many villagers do you have? You probably have... You might have six. Right? I think six is the minimum for someone to think about moving out. That means you're going to want to... You have one day to spend looking... Doing Nook Mile tours. No one likes the chicken. One? Okay, now you got me curious. I forget which one it is. Lucky. Well, there are some people looking for Plucky. You invited Blanche. Okay, let me see if... Is anyone interested in Renee? What is, like, what is gifted versus ungifted? What does that mean? When you already gave presents, so when they move, they'll remember what you've given to them. So they'll have stuff in their house. What? Wait a second. 
Yeah, I'm confused on that. Oh, here we go. Ungifted villager. Villager was not gifted any clothing or furniture items, thus they will only have their original furniture and clothing if they move to another island. Oh, okay. I don't think I gave her- hold on, let me check. Hopefully she's home. She's not home not in her house. I'm pretty sure I didn't... Okay, well, she's got... she's got a different catchphrase. That's the... that's not a problem. I am currently browsing Nukazon and uh Trying to figure out how to create a listing. Thank you. 
Oh, add listing, okay. We'll see if anyone uh, makes an offer. I found out how to do it. How many times am I gonna bump into you today? Hang on, am I being pranked? Is there a hidden camera? There's gonna be one less horse on Mirage. Guess I actually gotta start packing. It's weird to think I'm gonna do this. I mean, not really, but I'm still kinda surprised with myself. Okay, sorry about that. You should be able to- yes, yes, got it, yep. I was able to- it's weird that it works that way. That like you have to click on them and then do the listing. You can't just like create a listing from your dashboard, but... Whatever. It works, it works the way it works. And it works. Not really an obvious button either, but... I gotta sell, that's what... I think I hear a present too. I'm gonna see if anyone who offers me Nook Miles tickets tomorrow and just accept. I'll do what, uh... <laughs> what Bella does. Accept the highest offer. Why am I at home? I should have gone to the selling place, but I actually I can't sell. I cannot sell because they're closed. I can put stuff in the drop box, I guess. That'll have to do for now. I guess I just was just with this little handbag. Oh, we meet again, Stuffin! Renee is going to be getting packed up to move tomorrow. Some folks say moving away is a total downer, but some folks need to move away. 
<laughs> Are you scanning my brain, Stitches? What is this nugget of wisdom that you just dropped? Some folks need to move away. Why would someone say that? Oh, Belly, you said gifted means you've given them gifts. I don't know if I had... I don't think I've given... I don't think I've given her any gifts. But I can't, I'm not sure because she has a different catchphrase. We'll see, I, I'm not really expecting to get any responses. Like, there are people who want Renee, but... You must. Oh, I guess I'm part of the server now. The hell? Are there really 10,000 people who have accepted these terms? Oh my god, I'm the 10,000th and one. F well, how do you say that? 10,000 and first person <laughs> to agree to the rules. <laughs> That can't be. It can't be. I think it is. Rules you must read. Yeah, there's now. I mean, you can. I don't know if you guys want to verify this. There are 10,001 acceptances of that. <laughs> Catchphrases don't count as a gift? Okay, maybe I could change it to. Can I change it to ungifted? Does it even matter? Are people are there gonna be people who dis who make that distinction? Is there a huge difference? I feel like I so I want it listed as ungifted, because I don't I don't believe I've ever given her anything. But at the same time I don't want to be dishonest. And have it have her end up being something she's not. Celeste is on your island, but you can't find her. For me, she's always in the back. On the highest level. I don't think I've given Renee anything, because I learned... I learned after giving my first few villagers gifts that they start... They display them in their houses. And I don't like that. I think they're fine the way they are. Can I remove this? Let me see if I can remove it. Ungifted. There we go. Okay. I relisted it.
Um, as much as I want to keep playing, it's like past midnight, and I haven't caught more than one of this this these damn string fish. I don't think I want to spend more time, so I I think I'm gonna call it a night. Fossils, yeah, and as I've learned, uh, flooring. There's one flooring that goes f that costs more than twenty five hundred. Uh, and that that flooring is the uh, what is it? The pine wood, the pine wood floor, the default flooring you have in your house. <laughs> you know they're never gonna put that down. That too, and fossils. Yeah, that's a great tip, Bella. Cause I don't like I don't like when they display these random things in their house. Anyway, we'll see. I'll let you guys know tomorrow if anyone, if I get any offers on Renee. And then since today's Wednesday, that means I'll be able to do some uh, hunting on Friday. Probably Saturday, probably Sunday. We'll see. We're gonna look, we're gonna be Gunning for number one on my list, which is Raymond. Yeah, Phoenix, by the way, they don't make it obvious that you need to go and agree. You can just get a message from their, their bot. I thought I would just have a random Discord notification if someone sent me a Like, I thought it, was, it would be all DMs. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. I'll get notifications somehow. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Phoenix, thanks for hanging out. Bella, thank you so much. You two are amazing. Chewy, thank you for always being there to wish me a, a wonderful stream. And Heather, I hope to see you soon. Johnny was here too, and Andrea, my regulars. Hope you guys are having a good night. Come back tomorrow, everyone. I'm going to bed. Please do the same. Same time. Come back. <laughs> Thanks again for watching.